All right, what up, y'all? Broken Games HDR, back at it again with another video. All right, so I watched the Xbox Partner Preview Showcase, um, pretty much all third-party stuff. Uh, just going to give my review, my thoughts on everything, run through it. Should be quick. So they showed Like a Dragon, um, Infinite Wealth. Is that the actual name of this shit? <laughs> I don't know why that's, like, just so... Like, I don't like Yakuza, man. I just... I just I kind of despise everything about this franchise and this series. Everything about it, I kind of just hate. Hate, hate, hate. I really hate it. I hate, I hate how they name their games. I, I hate how weird and quirky their games are. I hate this, the cities you be in. I hate the combat. I hate the goofiness. I, I truly despise this franchise. Like, like a dragon, infinite wealth. Like, what is this, bro? So let me move on, cause yeah, I just don't like Yakuza. I hate the I hate that they talk so much. Yeah, don't like it. Never have. Um, next, I'm not sure if this is in co the correct order of how they were shown, but whatever. Uh, Dungeons of Hinterburg, some weird game that I would never play. Not gonna say that much about it. It's some weird, random. I don't know what even to call it. Uh, it's one of those games I would never touch, never play, never take it serious. Most hardcore gamers wouldn't play it either. Um, one of those weird social games, I guess. So, yeah, don't care. Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater looks phenomenal. Like, that's the only word that, like, it looks phenomenal. We didn't see much gameplay. It was kind of just showing how it's running on Unreal Engine 5, but it looks nuts. It looks crazy. It looks so clean and crisp and just so high quality. The presentation, it looks amazing. Now, I actually wasn't the biggest fan of this Metal Gear Solid um, because I didn't like I didn't like the survival aspect, really. Um, I didn't, you know, of Metal Gear Solid 3. I wasn't crazy about the in, in any game. I'm really not crazy about the survival aspects of like um, and I'm talking about survival as in like, oh, you need to hunt to eat and you gotta like you know like that type of survival like I, you know i love horror survival and, and those type of things where it's like you're low on supplies um and that's why it's survival but when you have to like collect collect um certain supplies like kill animals to eat and um build build stuff for protection and like i i hate that type of stuff so that's actually why Metal Gear, you know, that Metal Gear wasn't wasn't my favorite. Um, but maybe with this remake, I'll like it a little bit more. But at the time, I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. So that's that's why people are shocked when like I kind of put it put it below. I put it below Metal Gear Solid two. One. Four. Honestly, I put it below all of those. Um, obviously not five. It's it's better than five. Um, but yeah, I just didn't like the, those survival aspects. Uh, but I look forward to this remake. Um, Ark Survival Ascended. I don't care about Ark. Ark looks... It, it, I've never liked the original. The original looked corny, looked garbage to me. It's this one. Yeah, I don't care. Um, Alan Wake 2 looks amazing. It's clear that they've rehauled Alan Wake 2 to be Alan Wake um, Resident Evil. It's, it's Resident Evil, bro. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I, love when, um, I love when developers clearly copy some, a, a proven formula, right? This is, this is Alan Evil 2 or Resident Wake 2, whatever you want to call it. That's clearly what it is. And I, and I didn't want to spoil myself too much um you know usually i don't care about spoilers but when it comes to like horror stuff like this you know there's jump scares and all that especially since i plan to live stream this that's why i'm like i don't want to see where all the enemies are going to come from so i kind of just avoided uh part some but some of the enemy designs who they in a bag with some of them enemy designs they look really freaking creepy um so i really look forward to this it looks fire but I think the I think I think this is a game that's coming out before it's ready. Everything to me points out that this game might be coming in hot. The PC version is going to be unoptimized and usually 
not all the time, but usually if a PC version of a game is bad, the console version is going to be bad. That's often the case. Uh, it, I think this may run like trash. Um, at least with PC, we'll have some some options, but still. Uh, and, and, and the console version, I think the console version, because even I, I read an article that talked about its frame rate and they said they're targeting 60. That's not what you want to hear. And I, I think they said the performance mode, they didn't even, when they, when they originally started making this game, they didn't have a performance mode in, you know, uh, planned initially. I think they said that's something that came towards like the end of development. So yeah, I don't, I think that performance mode, it might be in the fifties, maybe the forties. I don't think it's, it's, it doesn't seem like it's going to be locked whatsoever. So don't expect too much as far as that performance goes. Uh, what else was there? Um, Alan Wake, Like a Dragon, uh, Ark, uh, Manor Lords uh, is a game that's going to PC Game Pass. Um, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Age of Empires um, kind of strategy game. It looks interesting. It's, you know, you build up your med medieval town, you build it up, you know, you go to war, you know, build your, I guess, civilization. It seems like Age of Empires um, on a I want to say it seems like maybe a little bit smaller scale almost, uh, but it's not like complete. It, it's, you know, the structures and, and, and the and the camera angle seems to be a little bit more intimate. Um, Age of Empires is is much more like just top down. So it's interesting. No guarantees I'll play this, but I'm I'm interested. Uh, Robocop. It's got a release date now. I don't think it had a release date before and it's November 2nd. So when I play the demo for this, it's like one of those games where this doesn't seem to be a quota, like necessarily a good game, but it seems to be fun. Like when I play that demo, it's fun. I can't say it's quality, but it's fun. So it might be like this game comes out and like has the average score of like 75, but it'll probably be like, it's one of those situations where, yo, this is the best 75 I've ever played. This is an, like an, an amazing 75 type game it's just very basic and straightforward visually it looks great but gameplay it seems to be really shallow and but i, I think that's kind of authentic and real to to robocop because robocop as far as like how if you watch the movies and stuff like that he is very basic and and, and shallow he's not necessarily ha he doesn't have all these move sets and abilities necessarily it's like bro i'm a i'm a I'm a, I'm literally a, a cyborg. I aim and shoot and I'm going to kill you. It's very straightforward. There's no, you know, none of the theatrics, none of the, the extra stuff, literally aim, shoot, kill. That's, that's what it is, but it looks fun. So still wakes the deep. I, this is, this is, this is the problem with game. This, this is the problem with game play trailers, right? And why I always say, like, the art form of gameplay trailers have kind of been lost. They've lost the recipe of them. Because, essentially, this is three minutes of just walking. And it kind of reminded me of Outlast, which I really like. Because it seems like, I don't know, there's monsters and, like, you're moving, maneuvering your way around some type of rig. And, uh... But the problem is they don't show anything. It, it seems like it's kind of airy. It's a uh, horror aesthetic. Uh, it's creepy. Something seems to be ch like, I don't know, stalking you. But they don't show anything. And I get not wanting to give stuff away, but you need to show something. Otherwise, the trailer, otherwise the trailer is pointless. Like, what am I hiding from or, or running from? You could at least show that. Like other like I said, otherwise it's just a it's just a walking simulator. Like this, this doesn't tell me anything. It's it's not educational. Like I, I really think they forgot that like trailers are supposed to be educational. It's supposed to tell the game or something they didn't know before. And this didn't really tell me anything. Something's chasing me and I'm walking around. That's it. Um 
Spirit of the North 2. I've never heard of Spirit of the North 1, but this is this game kind of reminded me a little bit of Ori. You play as like a fox and raven teaming up uh, to like go on this adventure. Uh, this says the original came out in 2019. I've never even heard of the original, but this seems interesting. Once again, not something I'm, I'm sure I would actually play, but interested to see more gameplay. The Finals. Uh, so the Finals is a free-to-play uh, team-based competitive shooter. So I played the alpha, beta, whatever it was on PC, and it's one of those games, m maybe it would be better now, but it's one of those games where the trailer is much better than what you get, right? It, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like when you buy, and this was my experience. It's kind of like when when you buy, oh, when you buy something on eBay. Let's say you buy a, um, I don't know, a, a PlayStation controller on eBay, and what actually comes is some off-brand, weirdly shaped. Um, controller from controller from China. It's like, bro, this is the this is the Kirkland brand of 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 PlayStation controllers. That's kind of what I felt like. The finals trailer versus what I played was like I was sold like a false bill of goods. And once again, maybe it's better now because it is a work in progress. But I was I was blown away by the trailer when I first saw it. But when I played the played the beta or the alpha, whatever it was, I was like, yeah. Y'all made this look way better than it actually was, which I'm partially not mad at because that's what you're supposed to do in a trailer. They made the trailer look really, really good. That just didn't transfer to the gameplay, in my opinion. Um, Ikaro Will Not Die is a fast paced uh, game with rogue like elements. I like this. I like the way this looked. This looked cool. Um, it kind of reminded me of Fury a little bit. I liked how vibrant the game was and the combat looked cool and fun. So yeah, I was I was rocking with it. So I think that's everything they showed. Uh, I don't think everything here that they had, that they showed was actually at least not yet. They didn't announce if it's announced that it's going to Game Pass. Some things were not everything. Not everything is. Um, so I guess solid third party showcase. I liked Alan Wake, Metal Gear. Uh, Manor Lords look okay, Robo RoboCop, yeah. So they, you know, yeah, like there's like five games, five games. Out of, I'm not even sure how to, out of how many they actually showed, but it was five, you know, solid games. I'm I'm interested and I thought looked cool in there. So decent showing. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. So yeah, they showed, I think they showed like eleven games. So half, I'll take it. All right, let me know what y'all y'all thought about this uh, this Xbox partner preview, and um, let me know what you're inter interested in. Uh, let me know if y'all want me to do a, a playthrough of RoboCop because I'm doing a playthrough of Spider Man right now. Um, I plan to do a playthrough of Alan Wake, and uh, I'm thinking about doing a playthrough of RoboCop also, and I think I'm gonna do a playthrough of Mario RPG. So it's it's I guess it's playthrough season for me. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.